Hey Colton, I'm so excited to sit with you today. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule. And you are CEO of Fuse. Yes, yeah. And I've worked with Walzer for the last, uh, feels like it's going on five years now. Awesome. So I've had a lot of different roles at Walzer. I started as a database uh, marketing coordinator, uh, then a, a, a digital initiatives manager, uh, then a marketing director, senior marketing director, and, uh, and chief merchandising officer. Wow. And now CEO, get to add that to the title. Yes. Um, I'm super excited. We're on the third week of Hispanic Heritage Month, and I thought people would be really surprised to see you sitting in this chair with me. Yeah, they're probably thinking, what, what's Colton doing here? Yeah, exactly. But why don't you share with us a little bit about you, know, you your, your family, your yeah, culture? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So a little bit of my family history. Um, my uh, great-grandfather, uh, Jose Calva, uh, was born in Mexico City. Uh, most of my family is from Mexico. Uh, my great-grandfather uh, actually moved from Mexico to the United States. Uh, early in his life, uh, he was a, a mechanical engineer, a chemical engineer, and electrical engineer, and he worked for the uh, Mexican government, and they wanted him to uh, build um, or create uh, chemical warfare weapons uh, during the uh, Mexican Revolution. Uh, 1917 into the 20s. He didn't want to have any part of that, so he came to the United States and uh, met my grandmother Edith at college and uh, started to become a, uh, became an inventor in the United States. Wow. Yeah. An inventor. That makes a lot of sense from yes. <laughs> what you do today. Yeah. So he, yeah, he's an interesting guy. He actually um, holds 80 patents in the United States. Uh, he, uh, if any of you are familiar with uh, uh, Lustra Silk by Gillette, which is like a hair straightener, he invented that. Wow. He also invented um, uh, the, the synthetic fur that we have on our coats or our clothing or on our, on our shoes. He invented that. He also, he's just, I mean, he, he's an inventor and he created, you know, like I said, 80 plus patents. That's amazing. So going from nuclear warfare and the Mexican Revolution. Yeah. Chemical warfare. Chemical, sorry, yeah, chemical, chemical warfare. warfare. Not nuclear, yeah, we weren't yeah, there yet. Yeah. The chemical <laughs> like, warfare. Chemical warfare. Yeah, didn't want to do that. <laughs> Came to the United States and uh, put his uh, put his stamp uh, in here. And, and actually they found his way to uh, St. Paul, Minnesota and uh, worked for 3M for, some, uh, for, for many years. And uh, uh, just, a, just a really, uh, really incredible guy. Cool. Uh, yeah. And this is your mom's? Uh, my mom's grandfather, okay. my great grandfather. So it's your mom on your mom's side where yep. your Hispanic culture yep. kind correct. of runs through. Yeah, correct. That's so cool. So from a sibling, um, I have uh, the six, uh, uh, Jose Calva uh, had uh, two families, uh, maybe a, a uh, not as publicized in this culture, <laughs> but uh, he did have a, a wife and family in Mexico City, and then uh, obviously my great grandmother um, Edith. He had a wife and family. so novella already exactly, happened. Right exactly. Now. <laughs> so yeah, six six siblings in Mexico City and four siblings in the United States. So ten kids in total. That's awesome. Yeah. Have you ever been down to Mexico City to oh, visit yeah. that family? Yeah. Um, not to visit the family, but I've but been, been down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's yeah. your favorite part once you get to kind of see that part of your life? Um, well, obviously, it's. I just. Yeah, I. I love the. I love the sights and the sounds and the smells and the, the food and um, the uh, cadence of the culture where things are not as fast paced, um, a little bit more relaxed. So yeah, yeah, I really enjoy it. So how um, do you see that part of your culture into your like day to day life? Well. Um, I don't take any of the relaxing pieces into my day-to-day -day <laughs> life, um, uh, but I, I think in the day-to-day -day life, uh, what I see from my great-grandfather and, and, and the family, even my grandmother, who is a, an incredible woman, um, uh, that uh, will, wanting to push forward and create and invent and do something different and do something different than the way it's always been done. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's been given to me from my family. 
I can see that. I feel the same way from my side and, and growing up is, it's like you always want to push forward. Yeah, because exactly. You, they have that drive that they've kind of, it just seems to be running through your veins. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I think the family part is a big piece yeah. too. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, representation is so important and being an executive mm -hmm. and being Hispanic um, and being a role model, I think for mostly. I'm excited to kind of get you in front of everybody because yeah. I think it's, it's going to yeah, inspire it's, it's, a lot yeah, of people. It's not a, it's not a part of uh, me that people really hear about. Yeah. Uh, but but that is it is a part of me for certain. Um, uh, I think uh, you know having uh, this background and, and the family that I have uh, is a part of me, and it's a part of our. Uh, it's a, it's a part of how I work with people. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I, I think that the culture, the Hispanic culture, is a really giving and accepting and family-oriented culture, and and uh, these are all the things that that I try to bring to work every single day. I love that you shared something with me before we kind of started the interview, and it was that you even did some research on your own, wanting to learn more. Yeah. As we started talking <laughs> yeah. about this yeah. video. Yeah. So you, uh, yes, you, you, by you prompting me, I, I got together with my grandmother. Uh, yesterday and spent a few hours with her, uh, who is also an incredible woman, uh, was a performing artist all growing up, uh, violin, and uh, then became a teacher, taught at Kentucky State and Hawaii State wow. University, and uh, then went on to run uh, one of the uh, larger uh, property management companies in Los Angeles. So just so cool. Yes, yeah, so just it was fun getting all of this from the family last night. So, That's awesome. Yeah. I'm glad. Well, thank you for sitting with me today. One fun question we've kind of been asking everybody. Um, what's your favorite dish or food when you look yeah. back on the yeah. Hispanic culture? Yeah. So um, my favorite dish, uh, well, my favorite uh, category would be dessert, always. <laughs> Anything sweet. Yeah. Uh, uh, also, I think that's from my great grandfather. I guess he is one of the guys that would they go to an ice cream parlor, and after finishing their first Sunday, he would ask everybody if they want another one. <laughs> that definitely feels like me. Uh, but my favorite dish is flan. Flan, um, yeah. Like a like a Spanish custard, I guess yeah. you call it that. I love yeah. it. My mother makes a great uh, version of it. Uh, the only version. Paquita, that I, right? Yeah, yeah paquita. My, my my mother, also my grandmother, paquita. There's a lot of paquitas in the I family. I love that. Yeah, that's so cool. Yeah. Well, awesome. Thank you so much again for sitting with us. I'm excited to kind of introduce the Hispanic side of Colton yeah. to everybody at Walzer. But um, I've been looking forward to learning more about your family as you learn about it too. Yeah. Thank you, Ashley. This yeah. is fun. Thanks.